Hey guys and gals, it's Al again with another video game topic. Um, today I was going to talk about the Sinking City a little bit. Uh, just that I had looked up some, I wanted to find out more information on it. And I uh, looked at some stuff. Obviously, if you Google it, you know, you're going to come up with some, some uh, information. But um, there's. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of, oh, okay, IGN posted a video of some gameplay. Um, I take anything interesting if it's shooting. Like I said, I love first-person shooters. Um, I'm going to be specific and say that they're non-traditional, you know, like the non-Call of Duty types. Those are the ones I've always loved growing up. Um, so, you know, I've always had consoles, so anytime I can get my hands on them, uh, you know, I'm always interested. There's, um, I mean, they've been coming out a lot now over the years since they've seen how popular they were. But uh, anytime I see something that has to do with first or third party shooting, generally, I'm typically interested. So, uh, the Sinking City uh, is supposed to be some crime mystery. I think it's supposed to be a horror game as well. Um, and like I said, if you saw the video, most of you probably have. He gets up and there's a Thompson there. So, you know, someone would call it, um, uh, I don't think basically like, I can't think, oh yeah, Tommy Gun. That's the nickname for it. Um, so I was like, oh cool. The settings is in the 1920s. So the interesting thing is that we're going to, uh, you know, see something come out that I think that uh, I think would be very interesting. Um, I went and I looked at the video. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, probably too lazy to put up a link, but um, basically you start out, you don't know what's going on, and it shows that you're walking around and uh, meeting different characters. And what's interesting is these characters take on different personas, uh, different facial looks that, uh, which interesting take on, I don't know if it's supposed to be some kind of, you know, alternate universe or whatever. And I haven't seen enough, I've seen enough gameplay to know that it kind of keeps it interesting, where at least you're solving things, you might have to shoot at some stuff once in a while. Which is interesting, but um, the interesting thing about this game is it doesn't hold your hand. Um, this is an interesting mechanic. So I guess the program is we're trying to, you know, do away with that and make it feel like you had to work for it. Uh, and I guess um, if I was reading it right, it says there's enough side stories to, you know, kind of get you to the right path, which is interesting because it always gives you those playability ways, different way to play, you know, like I said, what if you play one way and then you beat it or you get through it and then you play the other way, just to explore the game and see how things are, uh, when you try it in different ways, which always gives it a replayability, this game comes out literally less than 10 days, it's supposed to come out the 27th, uh, I'm debating on picking it up, I may or may not, but I am, I am curious how the game is. Um, uh, so, like I said, look it up. Uh, see what you can find. Uh, see if you're willing to um, find it. Uh, see if you're interested. I'm sorry. I'm choking up here. I'm trying to think how to word it. But it looks interesting to me. And uh, I might report back on it. I might not. In the future, talk about some other games. Uh, try to make them more detailed, uh, you know, make more uh, notes because I want to be able to see in depth what uh, you guys want, what you guys are looking for, if you're excited as I am. Uh, I also wanted to note that Left Alive came out two or three months ago, maybe, and you know, first it looked great, but when it comes out with titles that I'm always eerie when, when there's titles that come out they don't have a name, uh, if they're good or not. Usually, if you notice, some titles like, for example, Cyberpunk, it's going to be new. Um, 
games that are exciting. There, we had a lot of hype around them. Are games that are typically good, uh, but uh, these games, for example, Left Alive, you know, it, it looked pretty cool, and then it, then it got mediocre scores, and uh, no one really recommends the game. But uh, you know, it's to be said because you don't know it could be a super hit. You don't know if you might like the game. Uh, I might like Left Alive. You know, I don't like to judge unless I play the game. But um, coming out, like I said, nine days. Don't know if you're interested, but um, I might keep an eye on this one. Uh, might wait till it comes out. We'll see. Um, but if you like games like Noir or something, a mystery, uh, you're definitely going to like this. Like I said, it has a different mechanic. So, all right. Uh, so, have a great day. It is uh, raining here terribly. And, uh, until next time, do uh, do uh, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day or rainy day as as it is here in Pennsylvania.